Well, pharma is one of the subjects that, yeah, students do hate in the beginning because my, my take on this is that they hate pharma because they don't know pharma. So they've never learned the basic science they need to understand pharma. They were never taught, you know, pharmacology entirely. They didn't take all the classes organized and learn the basics and learn it in a smooth, you know, logical way. They just maybe took it in a very concise way or summarized way. Um, and also, they didn't repeat it enough. So you prob they probably studied pharma once in their um, university. And phar pharma is one of the subjects that you need to repeat. So for example, in universities, we do restorative almost a lot. We do a lot of, we do restorative in lab, we do theory, we do it in clinic. So we're repeating that. When it comes to pharma, we do it once. And then it's something that you just can't do once. One, one time is not enough. That's why people hate pharma. Like, I, I think it's because it's just something they do not know and they did not give enough time. So it seems very difficult and very impossible in a way. So the way to improve that, your, the pharmacology, um, is to do the, basically, to, to do the reverse, right? To learn the basics that you need for pharma, to learn the, the actual pharma properly, and then to repeat it. So if you do those three, that should improve pharma, make it familiar, make it something that you do know, instead of being something entirely foreign to you. And we do that here in our course. We start with basic science, and not just any basic science, the right basic science that you need for pharma and for other subjects, but we start with basic science in the course. And then we give you pharmacology in a proper way, and then we give you time to review it on your own, and then we do a review session to summarize pharma. Sometimes it's good to give the whole thing, and then afterwards we give the summary to make the summary easier. If we just give you the summary, you'll just remember 10% of the summary. But if we give you the entire thing, then give you the summary, you'll feel the summary is really easy, and that's the main part that you need to know before you go to the exam. And these review sessions, we actually do an event at the end of the course um, where we do a pharmacology review, not just to only our students, but to all AFK students that want a pharmacology review. So if you're, if you're not on a course and you need some help with pharma, you could come to our pharma review. Even if you're taking another course um, and you want to review pharma, you're also welcome to come to that event. Um, our students get two reviews, but we do one at the end of the course for open to all AFK students. And we also provide the pharma review in class and online as well. And you could access it from anywhere in the world.